Welcome back to and this guides in today's video. We are going to show you how to fix update error 0x800 7000D in Windows 10 or 11. So let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Microsoft, click the create one option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Encountering the update error 0x800-7000D in Windows 10 or 11 can be very frustrating because it happened to me in the past several times, alright? But the thing is, it typically indicates a problem with Windows update or corrupted system files. And we are here to help you fix that issue. And number one that you need to do from here is simply go to update and security because we need to run the Windows update troubleshooter. All right. Go to start menu and look for the settings. And from here, click the update and security. Just wait for a little bit to load. And select the Windows update. All right. Now you have multiple options from here. You can click the restart now or schedule a restart. So as you can see, the device is requiring me to restart outside of active hours. And there's like cum cumulative update for Windows 10 right now. And the uh, there's a status for pending restart. You also have the option to view update history in advanced option. Now from here, the next thing that you can look for is the troubleshoot option. You can view and click the additional troubleshooters. And again, from here, you have run troubleshooters automatically to see if that would fix the update error 0x800-7000D. Right? Now, the next option that you can do, aside from this one, is simply you need to press the window plus R button here. And then type in services.msc and press enter. Okay. Click on it. Now I need you to hover down to where it says Windows Update Service. Just scroll down to look and see where it's located. So Windows Update Service. And that's going to be this one. Right. All I'm going to do is right click on it and select stop all right click on it click click stop now open file explorer and navigate to the c windows software distribution delete all the contents inside the software distribution folder but again you may need to have administrative privileges to do this and go back to services window again right click on the windows update service and select start right here and try updating windows again okay the next option is we need to go to our command prompt type in cmd click and run as administrator now once you are here all you have to do is type in sfc space slash scan now right now what will happen is wait for the scan to complete and this process will check for repair corrupted system files then try to restart your computer and try updating windows again so let me do that right now now after restarting and if it still doesn't work type another command which is dism dot access space slash online space slash cleanup image space slash restore health and press enter the thing is you are running dism or deployment image servicing management wait for the process to complete and restart your computer and try updating windows again as you can see it's loading after it's successful restart and check all right it'll take some time but i believe this is more than enough to help you fix the issue. Now, the last option is you might want to temporarily disable 
or uninstall third-party antivirus software or firewall programs as they may might interfere with Windows update, all right? And if you try these steps one by one, and hopefully one of them resolves the update error 0x8007000 D in Windows 10 or 11. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.